This video is sponsored by Skillshare. I have a confession to make. I hate editing videos. When I started my channel, I assumed that it was going to be an acquired taste, but I've been making videos for almost three years now, and the more videos I make, the more that I realize that while I definitely enjoy the research process, the scripting process, the filming process, once we get to the editing process, I'm much less enthused. But after making the computational photography series, it occurred to me that if you can use machine learning to edit images, you might also be able to use it to edit videos. So let's find out. So I'm pretty sure I've said this in past videos, but I am planning to bring on an editor. That process has been delayed a little bit for PhD reasons, but thanks to Standard Studios, I'm hoping to have editing set up by the end of the month. However, I thought it would be interesting to investigate AI-based editing software and whether or not it's actually useful. After all, if you could just upload raw footage to a website and download a finished edited video, that would be a total game changer for content creation. On the other hand, machine learning algorithms ultimately boil down to a formula that maps an input to an output and being able to use machine learning to fully edit a video assumes that there's some formula that maps raw footage to a finished edit. And while there's certainly a lot of videos on YouTube that will tell you that there is a secret formula to creating a great video, I doubt those formulas can be captured using machine learning. So I did some Googling and it turns out that there actually are a few platforms that claim to offer this service. All of them seem to offer somewhat similar services where you upload raw footage or in some cases raw text of a particular video you'd like to make and the platform will auto select scenes from that footage that will be turned into the full compiled video once it is finished. To test them, I uploaded about a minute of footage, footage actually from the squat form check video that was out last week, so if you haven't seen that, you should check it out. And well, I'll just show you what happened. So the first service I tried was Camua, and it auto-selects scenes from your raw footage to turn into the finished video. It also does an auto-crop, which essentially tracks the main focus point of a video. So you don't have people coming in and out of frame when you're trying to edit a video, and you also don't have to keep them in frame manually through the editing process. And I should say now that most of these services seem to lean towards short form videos that are optimized for social media engagement. So I haven't found anything so far that's really geared towards towards people making longer form content longer than something like a minute. So to check Camilla, I uploaded a video from the squat form check video and it took a while to upload and process that video, which I thought was interesting because it was only a minute of footage and so it wasn't that big of a file and wasn't that much information to process. I then let it do the auto cropping where it focused in on me as the focal point to track through the video, which also took a really long time. That took about 10 minutes. And did the automated scene selection, which didn't really work. It seemed to select the entire video as one scene. It did seem to work with the demo footage that it gives you for the platform, but you never actually see the full raw demo footage. You just see the scenes selected once it's done importing and processing them. So it's unclear what footage it's seeing and how it's actually doing that or whether it's doing anything in the first place. Once the auto cropping was done, I found it odd that it mostly focused on the area around my waist, I guess I'll say. I'm guessing it's set up to focus on the center of gravity, but even when I was using it with the raw footage, it wasn't particularly consistent in what part of a person it focused on. In short, I didn't find this to be particularly useful to me. I think that if you shoot a lot of action footage and you'd like to crop out different scenes and use their auto tracking to focus on a particular person in an image in pretty short form video, then this might be useful to you. But if you're making YouTube videos that are eight to 10 minutes long, you're probably not gonna get a ton of use out of this. So the next service I tried is called Magisto, and it was actually one of the highest ranked ones when I was looking up AI editing software. In Magisto, you upload footage and you give it a theme and select music to go along with it, and it will make a video for you, at least, in theory. In practice, today is Monday, April 5th, and I uploaded footage to it around 8 a.m. It's currently 4.42 p.m. and it still says it's uploading, so I don't know what's going on there, but clearly not a particularly helpful AI-based editing software. Lastly, I tried Lumen5, which takes a different approach to the previous two platforms. Instead of uploading footage, you actually upload a blog article and it creates a video from it. So I went over to my old Medium blog and took a piece from there to make a video out of it. I think the idea here is that you would take things like press releases or marketing content and turn to videos that you could share on social media more easily than hiring an actual editor to do that for you. Lumen5 uses natural language processing to figure out what the important parts of the blog are and the keywords are and then find stock images associated with those points and combines everything into a video, highlighting what it thinks are the key phrases or 
points that you're trying to bring up in the blog article. This is something that I would say is probably good if you're trying to make informational videos from blog posts or from press releases specifically, but it doesn't quite suit the needs of someone looking for AI-based video editing of raw footage. For instance, if I were to upload a script to this, that wouldn't turn out like my normal videos do because I am normally in these videos and I would not show up in the stock footage that they use in their platform. Additionally, the videos are only about 30 seconds long, so again, this is a short form video made for a social media engagement. I'll also say that while the natural language processing that they use does seem to latch on to certain important parts of the blog article that you give it, it's not the most accurate thing and it cuts off important phrases and often kind of skips over large portions of the article which can be confusing if you're watching a video. In short, as you may have guessed, I will not be using machine learning to take over my editing process anytime soon. At least not fully. There's actually another platform that I do use called Descript and what it does is allows you to upload videos in raw footage, transcribes your raw footage, and allows you to actually edit the transcript directly as a way to edit the video. You can also use their overdub feature if you have a pro account which essentially lets you do voice cloning so it has you read a prompt of text and then uses that to clone your voice so if I were to do a voiceover that I forgot to record I would be able to overdub my voice into the video without actually having to record it myself. But in terms of the AI based editing software if I'm being totally honest I didn't have high hopes for how this would go given that editing is such a creative craft that takes a lot of time to learn and skill to do and there's a reason why YouTubers pay editors a decent amount of money to edit their videos. But at the same time, I was kind of surprised at how much the claims made by these different platforms overreached the actual experience that I had as someone trying to make a video on them. I do think it would be interesting to see smaller applications of machine learning in the video editing process, something like an automated way to insert J cuts into a video where you just select the region of the timeline that you'd like to have the J cut in and Adobe Premiere uses an automated system to figure out where the best place to cut your audio and your video are. I think that that would be really cool. But until AI editing software gets there, we'll just have to continue editing videos ourselves. In fact, if you'd like to learn how to edit YouTube videos from a true master of the craft, you should check out Marquez Brownlee's new course on Skillshare. Drawing from a decade of experience as a YouTuber and a gearhead, Marquez opens up his process like never before, guiding you step by step through every stage of content creation for YouTube. From scripting and storyboarding to shooting and editing, you'll learn how to create videos that connect whether you have one follower or a hundred thousand. I started taking the course last week and it's been a really interesting way of getting some insight into how Marquez makes his videos as well as how I can improve my own. If that sounds interesting to you, you should join Skillshare, an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey for less than $10 a month. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people, so if making YouTube videos isn't your thing, you can explore topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. Skillshare members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes with hands-on projects and feedback from a community of millions. And most classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons to fit any schedule. So if you'd like to support my channel and possibly start your own this year, join Skillshare using the link in the description. In fact, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to sign up using that link will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. My viewers have already watched 58 hours of class content on Skillshare, so if you haven't signed up yet, what are you waiting for? Otherwise, if you like this video, let me know by smashing the like button and subscribing to my channel. If you want to see more videos like this, you can actually check me out on TikTok. I've been posting five days a week lately and it's been a lot of fun. I've seen a lot of you guys from my channel over there, so hop on over there if you're interested in seeing what I'm doing on TikTok. Otherwise, you can follow my PhD life on Twitter and Instagram and I will see you on Monday. Bye.